Good morning YouTube! Android 5.0 Lollipop is almost here! Last week, Google released another developer preview of Android Lollipop, and today I'm going to install it on my stock Nexus 5 that's currently on Android 4.4.4. First, we're going to download the preview Android Lollipop system image for the Nexus 5 directly from Google. We can get this file from developer.android.com slash preview. I'm going to now connect my Nexus 5 to my laptop. Make sure you have a USB debugging checked in developer options. The file has downloaded, so now I'm going to go ahead and unzip it. And now I can copy the extracted files over to the fastboot directory. From the command prompt, I'm going to use the ADB reboot bootloader command to reboot the phone into the recovery menu. As my bootloader is currently locked, I'm going to use the fastboot OEM unlock command now to unlock the bootloader. This means all my user data on the phone is going to get deleted. Okay, that took about 35 seconds. I can use the flash all command to start the flash. ROM has been copied over to the phone now. It took almost two minutes, 107 seconds to send everything over to the phone. A quick reboot and the ROM is now being installed. The flash is complete now, so this is our first boot. Okay, so this is our new Android Lollipop boot animation. We have almost booted up. There we go. This is our new Material design setup screen. This Nexus 5 is now on Lollipop. Here is our warning that this is a developer preview. Okay, I'm going to go ahead with the setup and start using this as my daily phone. Really excited to see how Lollipop is. Okay, it's Friday now and I've been using my Nexus 5 for nearly five days. For the most part, this preview ROM has been working beautifully. I love Android Lollipop. This seems to be the most dramatic overhaul of Android I have ever seen. Much more drastic than going from gingerbread to ice cream sandwich was three years ago. I'm going to talk briefly about three things. The performance, material design, and a couple of features I like. The performance has really improved. The smoothness and responsiveness are absolutely amazing. Touch response is the best I have ever seen on Android. The UI is super fluid and everything happens nearly instantly. It is very obvious Google has been working overtime looking for every last ounce of performance they can possibly find. Material design looks gorgeous. Personally, I think it leaves iOS in the dust. The fresh color schemes are awesome. The animations are superb. Matthias Duarte is a genius and dresses like a pimp. Even the Easter egg is brilliant. Definitely one of the most creative Easter eggs I've ever come across. And it's so much better than Crappy Bird. There are many, many new features in Android Lollipop. I'm just going to touch on a couple of them now. My favorite upgrades are the lock screen and notifications. I also really like the security bypass when there is a trusted Bluetooth connection. So if I'm wearing my Android Wear device and it's paired with my phone, I don't have to enter my PIN. I also like the new notification shade where you can deal with many notifications right from the shade itself. And the recently used apps menu has improved a lot. I also like the user profiles and priority notifications and the ability to pin a single app before you pass the phone over to someone else. I'm not at all a fan of the camera UI though. This is where I think the most attention is still needed. Two of the most common things you ever do from the camera screen are switching to the front camera or switching to video. Both these actions should be a single click or swipe, not a swipe and a click. That just doesn't make sense. It used to be that Android was behind iOS in terms of touch response and the UI design wasn't as polished. And in some cases, it took a few more clicks to get the same thing done. Over the last three years, Android has improved a lot and now many common actions take fewer clicks and swipes than iOS. Also, over the last year, touch response has gotten as good as iOS. With Android 5.0 Lollipop, not only has Android design caught up to iOS, it has passed it. Compared to material design, iOS just looks 
plain and boring. If this is how good Android is now, with this developer version running on a one-year-old Nexus 5, I can't wait to see how it's going to feel on the new Nexus 6 and Nexus 9 hardware. What do you think about Android Lollipop? Do you like material design? Do go ahead and press that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.